Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we continue the equipment series. And as you can see here, we will add some simple stats to our items. When we equip, we can see how the stats increase. Before we start, let's fix a small bug. When we equip a second item, the item in between gets lost. For that to be fixed, go into the character And here we want, after we unequip the item, equip the new item again. In this case, we know that we have already an item equipped. We just unequipped it. And then we should equip again with the same function, the new item. And as you can see, while we test, this works now. The first thing we want to add here is a structure that can hold our item stats. So create a structure and fill it with the stats you want your items to have. I will use these four stats as an example. After you created the structure, we want to add this to our equipment settings. And after you done this, you could get some problems with the structure like I have here. What I like to do to fix this is go to every compiling error and refresh the node. Sometimes this is just a workaround for the current open engine and will come back after you restart. So let's make sure that everything works fine after we restart. So just restart the engine. As you can see here, I have no problems after I restarted. If I had problems here, I would go to the blueprint and use the refresh all nodes function here. Anyway, let's continue. Go to the AC equipment and this will be our place to store the player stats. This is just an example and you should probably use the player states blueprint. But I will for now stick to this way because it's uh, simpler and faster for us. And I will be doing a stat system sometime in the future. Create a base stats and create current stats so that we can always compare them and use them or other stuff. After you've done this, go to the character and create a new function. Something like add stats to player. As an input, we use the item data struct. Break it two times so that we can see the equipped stats like here. If you want, you can collapse these two breaks to a pure function. Then get the AC equipment, get the current damage off of it, 
and also set the current damage of it. Add to the current damage the damage from the item and then put it into the set node. Do this also for the other three stats. Before you continue, let's set the base values. Go to the AC equipment and after begin play, we want to set the base stats and to the current stats. Do this for all four stats. Next we search for our equip item function and here at the end we pull our add stats function in here and of course rename the collapsed pure function into something like get item stats. Create a custom function inside the AC equipment that will refresh the UI. Call it from the equip item after we added stats to the player. Go to the WB equipment and create here a similar custom event and call it from the AC equipment. And for testing purpose, let's create a simple and easy stats screen. Add a vertical box and then add a horizontal box into it. And to this, pull two texts. Change the name and the demo value and make sure that the second text box is a variable. Copy and paste this for all four stats and I will speed this up. Inside the logic graph, we can pull in all the text boxes and set the texts. But before, add the equipped stats to the custom event so that we can give the current stats to the UI. Do this function to all four text boxes. Go 
Go back to the AC equipment and here we want to get the current stats. Create this function and make it pure. Pull in all the current stats and add an output to the function. From the output you can search for a make function and plug all the current stats into this make function. And before we can finally test this, let's add some stats to an item. I will add some speed to the bottom item. Play, and as you can see, when I equip, my stats get set from 500 to 750. One thing we should fix is showing the current stats directly at the first time we open the equipment widget. Go into the AC equipment and after we show the equipment, call for the refresh stats UI. Save everything and test again. As you can see, it should now work when we first open it. And that's it for this video. In the next one, we will work on a better UI and also on removing stats again from the player. See you next week.